Hey guys, welcome back. It's Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Geeky Sparkles, who is an art teacher. I am. And we're going to talk about art now. We're going to try to uh, mix it up a little bit, I think, on Clownfish TV. We've been talking lately about um, how we've kind of gone down this road of just, just talking about bad news in pop culture. Which we'll still talk about. <laughs> we, we'll still talk about because it it's too damn fun. But that was never really the actual purpose of the channel. The actual purpose of the channel is actually to do more uh, talking about like uh, art and entertainment, mm -hmm. careers, comics, animation, that sort of things. Uh, that sort of thing, like like actual advice right. for so aspiring creators. Why not both? Why not both? So um, two dumpster fires for one. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we're gonna talk about Cal Arts and whether or not Cal Arts is actually worth it, uh, based on a tweet. Yeah, I was gonna start with a tweet. That's yeah. where this whole thing started. From. So. Okay, if you're familiar with Gravity Falls, and I think most people who who follow this channel are familiar with Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls is good. Very, very popular Disney Channel uh, animated series. Probably one of the most popular animated series of the last few years, last decade. Uh, well, showrunner and creator Alex Hirsch put this tweet out well, there. let's go for the back story first. Well, this other person said, $50,000 a year for art school is crazy. He is correct. I'm not sure anyone can justify an arts education at such a price. I agree. It's not just Cal Arts, it's every art school, pretty much. The profs don't get paid enough, equipment is old, new buildings are built through donations, where's the money going? And Alex mm. Hirsch is like, and you know, we'll get there in a bit. These tuitions are indefensible. I'd love to hear at Cal Arts explain where the hell the money is going. Me too, because it's sure it isn't going to the teachers, lectures, or student resources. Honestly, it seems criminal. And then that's Cal Arts alumni. And then says Alex Hirsch, don't get me wrong, I love Cal Arts. I wouldn't trade my experience for the world. You probably should. But the teachers <laughs> were there for the passion, not the paycheck. Uh huh. And half of what I learned was from my fellow students. No idea where that tuition money is going. Okay, well. Ouch. Ouch, because he's probably one of their most successful uh, graduates. I mean, Gravity Falls was huge. Now, um, just to back it up a little bit here, if you're not familiar with Cal Art style, most of the a lot of the animated series of the last, you know, five to 10 years are accused of having what they call Cal Arts style, meaning that so many of the showrunners, uh, so many of the storyboard artists come from Cal Arts. And the uh, series share very similar design aesthetics, mostly the ones from Cartoon Network. Um, but actually, it's not entirely true because, you know, Steven Universe is always used in, as an example of Cal Arts style. And uh, Rebe Rebecca Sugar went to the School of Visual Arts in New York. Mm -hmm. She did not go to Cal Arts, but that's not to say that they don't have people working on the show uh, who did. But the the telltale sign of, I guess, Cal Arts style is the bean mouth. They mm -hmm. call it the bean mouth. And uh, a lot of, uh, you know, animated series use this. Personally, I think it's because so many of these shows are animated overseas and I think it's a very easy, I'll say it's easier thing to draw mm -hmm. to lip sync, um, you know, rather than drawing lips and all of that. And I think it's just sort of the, the style of the decade, like every decade has its say, own style. I, you know, this isn't just a pick on this because I, I do think that you can tell a show was from the eighties or from the nineties or whatever, based on the style. I mean, you know, like you can tell like, you know, Dragon Ball's from the nineties and you yeah. can tell like Ron was from the eighties, you know, yeah. it, they all have a certain distinct look. So that's not, you know, a complete diss. I think it's more about simplification than it is anything else. Yeah, and I think a lot of the same studios that I think Rough Draft probably works on a lot of these. And it's probably just very easy for them to uh, sync the mouth movements mm. using the bean mouth versus trying to, you know, form like, you know, it's just a theory. Yeah. Just a theory. Anyway, Cal Arts ha has, is sort of known as like the, the place to go if you want to break into the American entertainment industry the american a animation industry well that's probably because it's also ancestral and everybody just hires their friends and i mean that's, there is that <laughs> i mean that's why well because you go to school together you get to know people you you're just gonna hire their friends get to know people really well in some cases and yeah and you're since gonna cal arts is right there it's it, easier to grab right. them from there they probably can you know dazzle them with a little bit of money which looks like a lot to some of these people and that well, when you're getting paid as much as your school tuition is for a year, it probably seems fantastic. Mm -hmm. And then they, you know, get them cheap and then they could bring in their friends in. They all work cheap. I mean, I'm sure that's why. Well, I think that's that's part of it. The the the, the cost, the cost of, of talent is part of, of of it. So speaking of costs, we're talking about money and CalArts. How much does it cost to go to CalArts? That was my first question for you. I said, well, how much is CalArts for a year? I said, find that out. So let's just pu pull well, this up. The I'm sure. Was right, it was 50-ish. Yeah, it's it's <coughs> currently Cal Arts. Okay, so we're talking a four-year degree at fifty thousand dollars, fifty-one thousand dollars, basically, uh, to go to Cal Arts. 
uh, current year. Masters is, is 40 to 20 or 40, depending. Yeah. So, um, and just to, just to put this in perspective, like, wow, that's a lot of money. Yeah. So this is a two year program or the masters is a two year program. The masters being a two year program makes sense. Is this for, a, is it a four year undergraduate? Think, is it four year? I think it's a four year and then the masters is two years. So you're oh talking, my God. yeah. Oh, wait, all figures for a full two semester academic year, but how many years of these are these, uh, Four. Well, it's bachelor's degree. Oh, right? my, and books and supplies. Okay, let me just look at this. Okay, I went to art school. Let's go down a minute. Um, room and board. Okay, so you have to pay fifty thousand for your tuition, guys. But you're right. not forgetting. You're forgetting is room and board is seventeen thousand dollars on top of that. So, um, and these are your fees that you're estimated to take up, cover. But seventeen thousand is probably going to be your rough room and board to live over there. Uh, if they offer room and board, a lot of times they don't. Sometimes they do. So you can add like seventeen is their estimate on top mm -hmm. of the fifty. And then you have, I love this, the books and supplies for a year. Um, yeah, experimental animation, 3000 to 3500 Experimental year. animation. I used to spend <laughs> hundreds of dollars for a class for a semester. I mean, one class could run you. And this is back, like, way back. I'm not that old, but, like, back. Um, it would cost me just like for a painting class, I would have paid easy five to a thousand, five hundred to a thousand dollars in supplies on for one class a semester. So, um, and that was then. So yeah. So you're talking with your, your staff, you know, I'm just saying. Okay. So, so, okay. Um, so that's pretty expensive. Let's go out and see, let's go out and see like what Harvard costs. Well, let's go. Look, okay. I was going to say about looking at, at SCAD. Well, we'll I look imagine, at SCAD. We'll I'm, look I'm at mentioning SCAD. SCAD because there's, I have some issues We're, we're going to go down this rabbit hole. And this, basically this episode is going to be about whether or not going to art school or going to one of these art schools is even worth it now. Um, so let's go out and see what Harvard, you know, Harvard, Harvard, right? Harvard degree is good anywhere. Let's go see what Harvard is cheaper than Cal Arts. Right. Harvard is cheaper. Even the room and board is cheaper than Cal about the Yeah, it's still about the same or cheaper than Cal Arts. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Okay. So let's <laughs> you have go. Much better chance can get a job with a Harvard you, degree. You have a degree from Harvard. You're pretty much yeah, guaranteed yeah. a job for the rest of your life. Uh, you go to Cal Arts. I don't even know, other than being a showrunner, like, we'll talk about the animation industry and kind of how it works well, now. clearly, if you're paying that much to go to the school there, you're, you must be getting paid a lot of money after you get a degree from there, don't you? Well, yeah, because these animators are making all kinds of, oh. Oh. You're making about what you pay. Now, great, you might get a little more than that in California, but do you figure adjustments? You are making probably less, I was gonna, you know, than what you... I, you're not even, as an animator, uh, you know, I would love for people to comment. I mean, I don't really, I don't want to poke and prod at what your salary is, but I have a pretty good idea of what most uh, kind of grunt animators make. And first you got to realize, um, you know, a lot of these jobs are hard to come by now because most animation is actually outsourced. I can't tell you how many people are doing web comics now that they used to work for, you know, this company or that company, and now they don't because... Their job got sent away. Yeah, there are people who used to be animators at uh, DreamWorks and Disney who are Seems now... Seems like, other than Storyboard, most everybody's jobs are gone. Well, that's it, because really, uh, over here, it seems like the only people who are actually left doing the art would be the character designers, the storyboard artists, the showrunners, and then everything gets shipped off to Korea. That's usually how it works. You can't, you, you know, you can't swing a bat without hitting somebody who's a storyboard artist now. Yeah. I mean, it's like every other person, their brother's a storyboard artist. And, uh, but this is what they're saying. Now, this probably, this could be for, you know, like Pixar, 3D animation, whatever. Um, again, you're part of a team. You're just, you know, another, I mean, that's, that's, look, you're, Again, I don't know what everybody's actually making, but you are going to be living in one of the most expensive areas in the country. You'll be living in Los Angeles, I'm sure Burbank, living there at the Glendale. higher end, at eighty-four thousand. But like years That's ago, bad you told me in LA. San Francisco, the your family was making well into six figures, and they were considered, you know, middle class to low end because yes, six. Okay, so twenty years ago, twenty years ago. Over 20 years ago, uh, I used to live in the Bay Area with my family, and my stepdad made, uh, I think he was making over $150,000 a year, and we were just getting by mm -hmm. 20 years ago in the Bay Area. So People are renting out rooms, like renting out like closet space as apartments for people because it's too expensive to live there, and that's now. So yeah. good to know that your $51,000 a year is going to go so far. Yeah, so I don't. You know, I, I again, you know, it's it's really hard for animators if you're doing 2D animation, especially because most of that stuff is being shipped off uh, to Korea, mm -hmm. you know, um, other than getting a gig as a showrunner. So I'm, I'm sort of wondering in my mind if, like, they're not picking up, quote-unquote, animators as showrunners, paying them the, you know, 
lower salary, maybe. Well, some they, people don't even have to be an animator to be a showrunner. No, you just that's... have to write a couple couple stories with teams of people, and suddenly you get to be a showrunner, which we're gonna talk about that later. Yeah, anyway. we'll talk about we'll talk about that in a whole other video. But look, your your job prospects aren't great. I think if you went to Harvard, you're probably gonna make more than fifty thousand dollars a year. Yeah, probably. most likely. Now, you know, we were saying about other places, like everybody talks about SCAD. I want to talk about SCAD for a minute. Okay, SCAD. Um, I have met a lot of people who are really cool that went to SCAD. We have hired people with the SCAD, and they've all been flaky as heck. They, they, <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to mince words. They were right. really good, but they were flaky as hell. Um, they were supposed to do coloring or do different work, and then like, I've got a headache. I, I can't do my pages that I owed you this week, but I can go do you know five hours of fan art. Another person, they were actually more professional. They got busy, but they also would disappear for a while. We've hired two other people from SCAD, and yeah, their stuff looks pretty, but they don't actually get the work done. And um, uh, a couple other people I've known from SCAD, they're paying all this money, but there's a, a there has been definitely an attitude like, well, I went to SCAD, like it's important. Um, I know of a person who went to SCAD and brags about the SCAD, literally does what looks like digital finger painting. And I'm not talking about the cool ones like you see on, uh, you know, uh, like Facebook, where I do like the really cool big finger paints with like, you know, make it look like flowers. It's an Asian technique mm -hmm. and it's beautiful. No, no, I'm talking like, it looks like kindergarten. Dip the <laughs> fingers in rainbow paint and wiped it across a piece of paper. Um, and that's their, that, that their, that's what they use their SCAD degree for. I'm not saying that SCAD's a bad school. I just know that there's a lot of questions about why it costs so much and what you're getting for that money. Well, okay, so to go back to Alex Hirsch's, uh, Alex Hirsch's tweet where he's like, basically, why the hell does art school cost so much? And I'm just bringing up SCAD because it's another example. We've actually hired people from SCAD. Yeah, and, uh, you know, again, it varies, you know, case to case, but I think a lot of people go to art school thinking they're going to be hired, making the big bucks right out of school. I've seen some major attitudes when people come from CalArts and SCAD both. So the reason I'm picking on yeah. those two is because the attitudes I've seen from some of these people have just been, I'm like, wow. You know, really? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, so SCAD is well regarded. I mean, I'm not gonna, you know, why? I don't but, know why. But <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think, uh, you know, th they have had some successes. I think the attitude. I mean, you can tell, like, you know, even even here on the East Coast, there's certain schools you you go to. Um, well, SCAD is on the East Coast, but I'm well, saying around I'm here. I think SCAD the, the 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 Cal Arts of the East Coast. I would. It say. is the Cal Arts of the East Coast. I would say. But there are certain schools we know even uh, here in Pennsylvania that people who go to these schools. Oh my God. Have yeah. a certain. I'm not going <laughs> to name the schools. <laughs> God. But they go there for art and design, and they have an attitude problem to go with it because well, I think that's the culture of the school. There's two of them, and the one school deserves that they they are really good there, and it's hard to get in, and they probably deserve it. The other one. I have seen two or three art teachers come out of that school and they all suck. And I saw, and I know you're, well, I'll just flat out say it. Your ex-girlfriend went to the same school and she wasn't great either. So I'm just like, you know, and for, for what it is, the arrogance of these people that come out of the school in Pennsylvania. And it's like, I can't even, guys, I can't even stress how bad these people are. And they're like so arrogant about going to school. Oh, and I'm God. like, how did you pass? Anyway, go ahead. And this so, was a scam. This is PA. Okay, so this was actually, this was on uh, Comics Beat a couple of years ago, the SCAD scam. They're talking about how expensive SCAD is. Now, SCAD is actually significantly less expensive than CalArts, but it's the same sort of thing. It's a, a top shelf, quote unquote, uh, name brand art school. Yeah, it's name. You're paying for the name, guys. And we're talking about how you know, we're talking, you know, 50000 a year in tuition and fees, um, but there's a cult of personality surrounding the, um, surrounding the president, Paula Wallace, who made $19.9 million in salary between 2011 and 2015. For comparison, Harvard's president makes a third as much. So Wallace's financial gain from the school is heavily scrutinized in the piece. Um, a real problem is that 50000 in tuition levels students accepted with SCAD relying so heavily on student revenue admission is relatively easy. Yeah, I was going to say that doesn't surprise me at all actually. In 2014, <laughs> the bond rating firm Moody's said SCAD accepted almost 94% wow, of applicants. That's bad. That's like almost 100%. You have like, to, I mean, you have to be really balls. You couldn't draw the stupid turtle from the you know, if you draw this turtle you can be an artist. If you don't get accepted to SCAD, you must not be able to draw the turtle. 
SCAD claims its acceptance rate runs closer to 70%. I've heard the 90s before. I've actually looked into it. Okay, we'll split the difference. We'll say it's 85% yeah. to be fair. At the most selective private universities, uh, the rate rarely exceeds 20 to 25%. SCAD professors complain that many students arrive ill-equipped and less talented than they think. Well, they think. leave thinking they're more talented yeah. than they are a lot of times, too. We're getting anyone and everyone with a pulse and a bank account, said uh, a oh. former art professor on the Hong Kong campus. They have a Hong Kong campus at SCAD? Apparently they do. Apparently Wallace's flamboyant lifestyle has been common knowledge for a long time. Also employs many people as teachers and flies many folks down to the school every year for career day. Over the years, I've heard many people mention SCAD, but not the problems there. We've actually heard about the problems, I mm -hmm. believe, we uh, along with um, some other schools. It turns out the highest number of cartooning grads. Well, that is true. At least the indie shows they go to, blah, blah. Um, yeah, there uh, are yeah. a lot of there are a lot of uh, comic book artists and animators that come out of SCAD. And not everybody's like I'm saying, but we've ran we've run into a lot of people who have um, are ill equipped to work professionally. Some not, of them are really good and deserve to be a little bit arrogant, but most of them are very have a lot of undeserved arrogance. Um, I went to SCAD. It's like, well, congratulations because you kind of suck. Yeah. But okay. But then they go back to Alex Her Alex Hirsch. So we'll we'll talk about you know, whether or not it's even worth going to art school. Now, he obviously made some connections at CalArts. He wound up working on a Disney. Uh, CalArts is probably only worth it for the connections. I mean, if you're, if, yeah. I mean, if, for people who don't have the money. I don't think it's worth $50,000 a year, guys. I do not think any of these schools are worth this money. Um, the money is not going to the students, it is not going to the teachers, apparently. Um, you're not being, it, it, it's it's the, to pay for the, the people running the schools and to pay, you know, donors apparently. and and benefit events. Um, and things like that. But an art school is not worth 50000 You're not going to, going to debt $200,000 for an art degree is not smart. You could go to better schools that don't have the name and get a better degree for less money. Or you could go to Harvard. Or you can go to Harvard. Or you can go to Harvard. Different. You could go to Harvard for that. So this is a really interesting because we talk about this all the time because we get people asking us for advice on uh, careers in art, you know, Geeky is an art teacher. I she, am. She, uh, you know, she, you're like, what, one credit shy of a master's and something well, I else? I almost have our history degree too. So I, yeah, okay. I'm like, I'm not one credit. It's like a semester shy of having two degrees. But yeah, I, uh, I I am an art teacher and I went to actually one of the top schools for art teachers in the country. So not Cal Arts. No, it wasn't Cal Arts. An actual. It didn't cost <laughs> anywhere near that. I think my whole student loan combined for everything wasn't as much as one year of Cal Arts. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Um, and then so we could talk we could talk a little bit about the difference. So Geeky went for um for to teach art. Well, so, I started with studio, but I switched art ed. Yeah, so that's that's a different thing. And um, I'll be honest, I have worked in comics, including a good number of years on Disney comics. I did not go to school at all. You don't need to. Um, I didn't, and um, I I don't have the debt. <laughs> it? I, still owe, I still owe money years later and he doesn't I um, owe a lot of money years later so I, I almost went I almost went to the uh, disclaimer I actually was accepted to the Academy of Art in San Francisco I was supposed to go there um, life happened uh, but actually part of part of it for me was I had the art director of Sega I had the art director of Sega of America in the 90s uh, tell me not to bother with art school because he's like for the most part it is going to be a waste of money it is I will let Geeky talk about uh, her experience in school and maybe with some other people who have gone to school for art, maybe, you know, whether or not it worked for them uh, personally or, how, you know, and then, you know, I can talk a little bit about how I fell into things. Well, I went to art school. I went, I started out of studio and I switched to education. I didn't really fit in in the studio because I was a little bit, I guess, uh, more professional than some of the people in the studio. Anyway, um, you don't really have to go to college for art unless you're going to be a teacher or unless you're doing something highly specialized that requires uh, training, which you can even still even do without going to art school full time. Um, you do not need an art degree. Uh, I had a teacher once who told us that you don't need, he told the same thing. He said, you do not need to be here. He said, the only other reason you have to be here is because you can learn what would take you 10 years, maybe in four. So you learn it faster. But that was before YouTube. And now to be completely honest with you, you can go find tutorials on practically anything and you can probably get the same training and maybe better training. Well, I know it's better training. I have somebody who I know that's going to art school now and they're doing it and they don't, they, they don't know how to do stuff. So they're going onto YouTube to find out how to do it. So you can get better training from YouTube tutorials <laughs> than you can get from some of these college professors. And that is honest to goodness truth. Yeah, I mean, some of the art schools do have some people who have, you know, years and years of industry experience, but art is a, you know, commercial art, especially animation comics is such a, it's such a, 
I mean, I hate to use the word dodgy, but it is kind of a dodgy career. It's not like you're going to go get a job. You're going to stay there forever and work at the, the, the art factory, you know, for 40 years. Well, there's a couple things. One, it always changes, especially since we have digital things now and a lot of that. It's constantly changing. So you can go to get a degree and waste four years. And by the time you graduate, what you learned as a freshman is probably obsolete anyway. Yeah. Um, it's really not necessary. Uh, you can learn a lot of what you would learn in college from YouTube and not to pay the money. Um, though it is great to have professors, you know, that can you can talk to and things. Um, but you can go to conventions and meet people that you can talk to. There's seminars and there's art classes in different cities. They have people that come in and, and, and you can usually get to talk to these people, you know, in other settings and not owe $50,000 for a year to do that. Um, you really do not need to go to art school. Um, if, if you really want to go, that's great. So these people are like, well, the connections, you know, I want to go to, you know, Cal Arts because the connections. Okay, great. You know what you do? You go find out where these people hang out and you go <laughs> hang out there. Right. And you go make friends with these people and you go to the drink and draws and you go do the stuff with them and you don't have to go to Cal Arts and you still make the connections and you don't owe $50,000 a year. Yeah, I don't understand. I mean, other than, yeah, the connections, um, and maybe getting a leg up and, and getting your stuff seen by the right people, you know, Disney or You can do the dreamers. same thing if you hang around the same circles. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't, you know, I'm not telling somebody not to go. Look, if you've got the money, I'm not going to tell you not to go because I think everybody can benefit from, you know, but I, I'm just saying like for most people, that's, God, that's a ridiculous amount of money. I disagree with you. And I'll tell you why. Especially if you're going to these schools now, maybe art colleges and so much so, but a lot of the schools, um, you take art part of the time. But you need to be well-rounded. So you have to take tons of classes on things that you might never use again just because they have to pad their wallets. And I don't, if you don't need to go, I, I wouldn't, I don't recommend going. I think, look, this is my my kind of lament here with, with artists is I think, and that's one thing I think the Academy of Art did at least back in the day is they made you take business classes. Well, I was going to say. Because artists are dumb when it comes to business. I think, I think if you're going to go do something, do not get a degree in art. If you wanted to get a degree in something, get a degree in something else that you have a fallback. Yeah. Um, and I would say take business classes for sure. Uh, take some classes on, uh, you know, law when it comes to, you know, like entertainment law and things mm. like that. Take those classes. If you're going to go to college, go get a degree in something that you can use that's going to make you money if art doesn't work out for you. Yeah, because here's the thing. It doesn't matter what degree you have. There is a, a strong possibility that art is not going to work out for you. And that's not to be Debbie Downer. Is this because the jobs aren't there? The jobs aren't there. There are so many people that want to do art for a living. And very few people have not just the skill set, right? Not just the skill set, but the uh, the connections and the drive to be able to do it. Because it is a very hard way to make a living. It's not easy. Everybody's like, I just want to sit around and draw pictures all day. I'm like, no. No, you don't understand what's actually involved. If you want to go to school, if you want to go to school and you want to do something art, then you do do art education, even though a lot of schools are you're getting rid of art departments. Do art education, do graphic design, do something like that and get a degree in that. Um, and then, you know, you could do comics or try to do animations on the side. Something else I was going to say about college too that I ran into a lot was um, the professors. Um, you run into a lot of arrogant douchebag professors for one. <laughs> But two, they all have a different style and they all look for yeah. something different. So you basically spend four years of college not developing your own style. You spend four years of college learning how to change your style to make these people happy to get A's in their classes. And quite frankly, if you could if you could defend it, you'd get an A. Literally saw a guy in our senior, uh, we had senior projects to do. Literally saw a guy put a stapler on a canvas board. Got an A for it. Laying a stapler on a canvas board because he gave a, a fantastic explanation, a bullshit explanation about oh, what it stood God. for. Literally got an A for that. I mean, it meant nothing. I told you guys the story before about the guys doing the performance art in the elevator. They took a sheet, cut two holes in it, stuck it over themselves, went up and down the elevator all day so no one else could use the elevator. That was their quote unquote performance art. And they got an A for that because they could defend it. So it wasn't even about, you know, learning how to do something. It was like you could bullshit whatever as long as you could defend it. It was like Twitter before Twitter was a thing. So I'm just like, you know, it's just, is it worth $50,000 a year? No. Hell no. When you've got Alex Hirsch, who's one of the most successful showrunners in recent memory, telling you it's not worth Listen it. Listen to him. He's right. Right? I mean, the guy's made his millions. Listen to Alex Hirsch. Go to, you might have a local college that might have a decent art program. Find a program that's not like, you know, it's not CalArts or SCAD, but you might have a, it might have a good program. If you're really determined to go, go do that. And then you can always, you can always take like, I know other class, like I almost went to Harvard for a summer program. I didn't get to go that year because something came up. But you can go to these colleges. A lot of times they'll do online classes or a summer program for a certificate. You can still say, I went to that school because you did. 
but you know you're not spending fifty thousand dollars for a year you're just you're just you know supplementing what you already have and it's going to cost you far less money um and you could get just as good an education or if you don't want to go at all go to youtube and then you were going to talk about not having one a degree uh, yeah i mean I, you know for years i actually regretted not going to art school and then i'm regretting going for years and then i realized like as as time marched on that like geeky was saying like everything that you would have learned in art school and and you know particular dealing with you know different software applications and all that by the time you graduated would have been obsolete True. um and you know i had to kind of think on my feet and yeah i mean i did you know to break in i think i had to work harder than somebody who had those connections because i was geographically challenged too because well, we lived are. yeah we lived in in pennsylvania versus la or new york but we still you know wound up still wound up working you know doing some stuff for disney um have a lot of connections in comics and animation from here uh you know we had a new york agent at one point so it's not impossible to do it um, not now not with computers no the internet makes now it possible totally possible i think art school would have been more necessary 20 or 30 years ago because you know without the internet where else were you going to learn how to draw but again now there are so many tutorials online for free and really drawing is just like practice you have to practice and you, you you know it's like cooking you have to eventually just do a lot of taste testing and experimentation until you find something that works and then you have to have you have to find contacts you have to find people who are hiring and, right. and go from there or now the great thing about the internet is you can build your own audience you don't have to go work for disney you don't have to go work for dreamworks they're they're nice to to have that notch in your belt to brag but there are people out there uh, making art online, making comics and animation online that are making way more money, way more money than you would make working yeah. for, you know, a, a studio. Yeah. Um, and um, I was going to say, too, um, you know, you actually used to hire. Yeah. You used to hire people and they come in for the college degree like, well, I, you know, have a degree from blah, blah, blah. But their portfolio would be only student projects or somebody else might come in that didn't have a degree, but actually out, was out there working for 10 years for real and had an actual portfolio to show. Yeah, I literally am like, I mean, anymore, I'm like, I don't care where you went to school, show me your work. And that's most studios, most studios, most studios used to be that way. Now they're, it's a little more complicated because there's a lot of politics at work or whatever. But for the most part, it used to be like, even in comics, you didn't get hired because you went to such and such school. I mean, the Kubert school helped because you made contacts or whatever. But, yeah, it's mostly about contacts yeah. anymore. But for the most part, you got hired because your work was good. You got hired because somebody recommended you because you're reliable. Uh, you got hired because you could sell your style sold. Why do some artists get hired? People are like, well, I don't like their art very much because there's stuff selling a lot right. of times, you know? Well, that's why I um, think Cal Arts anymore. It's not even because maybe it's that great. It's just because the name Cal Arts. And like, oh, I know the name Cal Arts. Everybody's talking about Cal yeah. Arts. And you're paying for the name. That's what you're paying for is the name. Like I said, again, there I'm, I'm not sure about that one, but I know other schools offer programs that you can take like a summer program or something. You only pay for that program and you still can say, I went to Cal Arts and you did. You know, and you still have that name dropping ability. But like you said, connections and stuff too. You know, it's, yeah. it's about connections. Um, it's just, yeah. Well, this is the School of Visual Arts in New York. Now, it is, I think it is about $40,000 a year as well. But I mean, just to show you, it's not all Cal Arts. Uh, you know, Rebecca Sugar went here. Uh, a lot of the folks who worked on Spider Verse went here. So I think it's going to start becoming more of the It School. But again, you're paying for, you're paying for the name a lot of times. You're not really paying for you know the quality of education uh and i can't i can't speak as to how the school of visual arts is but i'm like if you have a choice between going to an art school or going to freaking harvard you know well yeah go to harvard go to harvard I mean, I'm, I'm, apparently <laughs> yeah. it's a lot harder to get in harvard well, it than is, it is to get in the scad but um because you might wind up money. at burger king you might you might have a fifty thousand dollar year tuition going to cal arts or scad and you might wind up at burger king anyway because your portfolio is not up to snuff right the market has changed i you know again we know so many artists that were working for big studios just a few years ago and now they're not because mm -hmm. again a lot of especially in animation a lot of the the even though there's a ton of animation on tv right now so much of the actual animation work is outsourced to Korea, to Japan, to Taiwan, um, that you're very seldom are you going to be actually doing the animation. Like, unless you get a gig as a showrunner or a storyboarder or something, you're probably not going to be working in, in animation. No, and I mean, there's a lot of other careers in art that you can go with. I would recommend, before I'd recommend animation and things like that. I mean, there are a lot of job openings for designers and things like that. I mean, if you're going to insist on going to art school, I would go for graphic design or something like that before I would go for 
And you're going to learn the same techniques that you're going to apply yeah. to animation anyway. Um, but you're going to do progressive. Something. something else that's interesting about colleges too now, I, I noticed when I was uh, filling in for, I was filling in a, a year ago for one of the art teachers that went out for like several months. And when I was in there, they had posters up for, uh, I don't know if it was, I think it might've been SCAD actually. Um, they had posters up for a couple different art colleges. And it's really interesting to me that everything is so damn highly specialized now. Like it used to be, you'd go for graphic design and you would literally learn everything you could about graphic design. You'd come out with a degree in graphic design. But now it was like, it was, now you were like going for graphic, you weren't going for graphic design. You're going for a specialized area in graphic design. And that's a problem because they have you so highly specialized now. And that's great. You're, you're, you learn all this stuff about one area, but when, if there's no jobs in that one area, what the hell do you do? And it used to be you were, you were trained in all of this. So if you couldn't do this element of graphic design, you could go to this element of graphic design. If you couldn't do this you know, element of digital something, you could do that element of digital something. But now it's down to the stupid, like I, you know, draw, I'm the store, or I'm the, the digital painter who does clouds, you know? Yeah. It's so specialized, it's actually hurting you. Well, okay, so that's with 3D animation because it is so ridiculously overly complicated. And there are people, I talked to a guy, I had a conversation with him, he said he was like the fire guy at Pixar. And he did the best fire, so Pixar hired him because he was the fire guy. Um, but Disney had a problem when they did uh, Mary Poppins Returns. Everybody was so specialized mm -hmm. in, in 3D animation that when they went to do the 2D animated scenes in Mary Poppins Returns, uh, there was nobody left at the studio that could do it. They actually had to pull guys out of retirement to come work on that movie because everybody was so specialized doing 3d stuff nobody knew how to do the 2d work anymore mm -hmm. you know so, so that's, that's what crazy. these colleges are doing they're, they're just, i i was so so amazed because it was like it used to be oh get a degree in graphic design if they had graphic design they had all this like this huge like line, long line of listings underneath it and i was like oh my god they're specializing you to the place where you go wait you're going four years i mean that better have been a two-year degree yeah. four years to be specialized in one thing that if there's no jobs in that one thing you're screwed where you used to be able to go four years for a graphic design degree a lot of times two years and and you were trained in so many different things that you can pick your specialties. It's like a doctor. You're trained to be a doctor, but you might want to specialize in, you know, you know, general practice, or you might want to specialize in, you know, be a heart surgeon or something like that. But you're still trained as a doctor. That's how it was. You're trained as a designer. You might have a couple of things you specialize in personally, but you could do pretty much anything. Now they have you so effing specialized. Yeah. They're just like they're they're shooting you in the foot, and you get all of this for the wonderful joy of paying them a shit ton of money to mean that you have no work and you're never gonna make be able to pay your loans back. Yeah, you're gonna have to be if you want to work in art. Uh, now you're going to have to be, you're going to have to be, I think you're going to have to be a generalist first mm -hmm. because things do change very quickly. And also if you want to actually be the, the only place there's any real money now, I think is if you're in charge in some capacity. Right. So to be in charge, you're going to have to outsmart people. You're going to have to have a general knowledge of, of how to do a little bit of everything and you have to be adaptable. Yeah. You so know? if you are in art school now and you're like, Oh crap, no, no, you're fine. Just, you know, Try to go out of your comfort zone. Try to you know, get some business classes. Mm. Um, try to do some things uh, like, you, like you said, don't specialize yourself so much. So you're trying to do different things. So you're actually, you have a broader, you know, broader scope of what you can do. Um, I don't want to tell you, I mean, I, I'm an art teacher and I probably shouldn't be telling you not to go to school, but honestly, unless you're going for something that's very specialized that requires school, like art education or something like that, you know, I mean, it speeds up the process, but you can do the same thing on your own and not, not owe $50,000 uh, yeah, in one year. Be paying on your, your student loans for the next like 30 years on your $50,000 a year. For $200,000, I mean, salary, what could yeah. you do with that? You know, I mean, uh, you saved. So I'm just, I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, I, at this point, like, I, I don't even know what I'd tell somebody just in art in general. I, I mean, I don't, I personally do not see the benefit of going for that kind of money and knowing that you know i was able to do it without going i know it's possible yeah but that was also you know years ago too yeah. but i think i honestly i think there's so many more opportunities now i mean to learn things you had to learn all on yourself to yeah. figure it out you had to wing it i can't tell you how many jobs he get and he's like yeah i know how to do that and he's like oh shit, i gotta learn how to do that this weekend <laughs> <laughs> he's had that many times yeah i can do that sure i can't and then he come home and be like i gotta learn how to do that by monday <laughs> It yeah, was, it was funny. I got the job. But I don't know how to do this. I better learn how to do it quick. Oh my god. Um. Well, I think we're gonna wrap this one up because we've got to train. <laughs> we've got to train. Yeah, in the we're background. not trying to sway people from. We're on the other side. We're on the wrong side of the tracks now because we right. had, we had go to Cal Arts. Uh, we're not um, trying to tell you not to go to school. Yeah. I'm just saying, be smart about it. 
yeah, be smart about it. This is a really interesting uh, tweet. I do want to give a hat tip uh, to the folks on Discord, our uh, Clownfish TV Discord, who pointed this out to me uh, earlier today. Uh, very interesting conversation to have, and this is something that you know we want to talk more about on this channel mm -hmm. because we want to give you useful information and opinions uh, in addition to just you know ranting on about pop culture. Why are you listening or not? It's up yeah. to you. But uh, totally, yeah. But just just bear in mind, you know, um, fifty thousand dollars a year, and and if you're lucky. You know, fifty thousand dollars a year is all you're gonna make. Yeah, so, so that's, that's if not, you are lucky, that is not a good bargain. That's not a bargain. Because yeah, that's not a good bargain. You'll be paying to you'll be paying student loans to your hundred and fifty. So God, don't do that. Okay, so please subscribe to Clownfish TV for more pop culture news, views, rants, gaming videos, art videos, and more. This has been Neon and Geeky. Bye. Goodbye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com and if you want to join our community go to clownfishtalk.com that's clownfishtalk.com please subscribe ring the bell for notifications we will talk to you next time